Sales Ledger is the place where your store manager or account admin can review the accuracy of your store's transactions and make sales-specific adjustments as required. Unlike the sales history, Sales Ledger does not allow you to conduct any point-of-sale functions, such as continuing parked sales or returning sales. Sales Ledger is used to edit or void transactions, view and reprint receipts, and confirm if a sale has posted to zero. The Sales Ledger is made up of two sections, the search filters and the list of sales. As Sales Ledger shows all sales records for your store since you began using Vend, using the search filters can make finding a transaction easier. Next, we have the list of sales. By clicking on the column headers, you can sort the data by that field. You can also export your sales data into a CSV file. Applying filters to the list will allow you to export your last 1,000 sales based on these filters. Some states of sales can be edited within Sales Ledger, including closed, on account, and parked sales, laybys, and returns. We will walk you through some of the edits that can be performed and the impacts of making these changes within Vend. The Edit Sale function allows you to add a customer or note to a sale after it was created. To do this, expand the sale and click the Edit Sale button on the right. Here, you can add the desired customer and notes to the sale and save your changes. If a sale has been made and needs to be removed, you can void the sale. Voiding a sale will send the sold products back into stock and cancel out any payments that were made against the sale. You will still be able to see the details of the original sale in your sales ledger even after it has been voided. Occasionally, payments may be applied in error to a sale and may need to be corrected. If this happens, you can edit the payment to correct the error. To do this, expand the sale and make note of the payment details, including the time and date. Click on the red X icon next to the payment entry to delete the incorrect payment, and then click Apply Payment slash Refund. Complete and edit the payment information as required, and then click Save. The Sales Ledger allows you to reprint receipts for past sales. You can also reprint receipts using different receipt templates. Choose the sale you need to reprint the receipt for and click to expand it. Then click View Receipt. From here, you can reprint the receipt as is or choose a different receipt template from your available options. To learn more about Sales Ledger and best practices on its features and functions, please visit this article in our Help Center.